Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. Alright guys, uh, this problem says a uniform glass rod having a length L is placed in the smooth hemispherical bowl having a radius R. Determine the angle of inclination of theta for equilibrium. Alright, so this problem is a little bit of a, a lot of math and you really gotta be organized to be able to figure this one out, but I'm gonna diagram it for you. So hopefully it all makes sense. So right at the half point of this rod, you have the weight of the rod. Now, let's write the right angles too. Now you know that this is the angle theta. You know this is the angle theta also. And you know that you have a reaction right here, f of a, and this is also theta. The length of the rod, let's call it length L. And we have a reaction right here. Let's call it F of B. And I think that's it, yeah. So the X is going to be going parallel to this rod and Y is going to go perpendicular to the rod straight up. Okay. So come on, let's get to this problem. First, I'm going to do the sum of the moments that A is equal to zero, assuming counterclockwise is positive. Okay. So we have minus W times L over two cosine of theta. Why we have minus W L over two cosine of theta. We're doing the sum of the moments at A, which is right here. And we have the weight right here. And we know that this angle is theta. Now, this W can be divided into two components, this component and this component, but this component is generating a moment, this component is not. Okay, so that's basically what we're trying to find, which is W um, times L over two cosine of theta. L, o, uh, L over two cosine of theta is also this distance right here which is uh, L over two and cosine of theta is to get this component of the force. So actually, I don't think I was very clear about that. So let me rewrite it. W times cosine of theta is this component of the force and L over two is the distance to calculate the moment. That makes more sense. Plus, the reaction at B, which is F of B is perpendicular. So F of B is creating all the moment times. Now, how do we calculate um, this distance from here to here? Let me draw a triangle right here. Now, this triangle, uh, let me actually explain where this triangle is coming from. This is the rod, okay? And this is the top of the bowl. Top of bowl. And this is 90 degrees, which is at A right here. And let me draw A right here. So I'm talking about this triangle. You know that this angle is theta because this is theta, okay? You know that the top of the bowl, which is a hypotenuse of this triangle, has a distance of let me write it right up here, 2R. Therefore, the rod has a length of 2R times cosine of theta. Okay, so that's 2R cosine of theta. That's why. And this is equal to 0. F of P is equal to the weight times the length times the cosine of theta all over 2 times 2R cosine of theta. Cosines of theta cancelled out, 
and we get that f of b is equal to the weight times the length over 4r. And we're going to call this equation 1. So let's write it down somewhere because I'm going to turn the pages and you want to make sure that you highlight this because we're going to come back to it. Some other forces in the x is equal to 0. Now in the x, remember, the x is parallel to the rod. I mentioned it before. It's not, it's not, um, it's not parallel to the bottom of your screen. So that being said, f of a cosine of theta, which is this component of the force right here, minus the weight times sine of theta, which is this component of the weight right here. is equal to 0. Now f of b is going straight up in our x and y axis so it has no x component. Um, now we're going to solve this for f of a. f of a is equal to w sine of theta over cosine of theta. And we're going to call this equation 2. Some of the forces in the y is equal to 0. Now in the y we have f of a sine of theta, which is this force right here, plus f of b, which is going straight up in our y-axis, minus the weight times the cosine of theta, which is this component of the weight right here. And all of that is equal to 0. And this is equation 3. Now I'm going to turn another page. So hopefully you guys wrote down equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3 because we're going to be doing some juggling with those functions. If not, you can pause the video at any point and you know. So I'm going to plug in equation 2 into equation 3. And this is a lot of uh, trial and error. It's not like I can just see it and figure it out. I literally experiment with the functions and be like, okay, I think this one could go in here and, and then just um, try and figure it out. And if I see that it's getting too complicated, I go back and I try again. So it's not like there is a, it's an obvious decision that you can do to go the right path. You have to sometimes try and fail, you know? That's why if you have a good teacher, he wouldn't give you this problem this problem in an exam because it could be very time consuming. But that being said, if you plug in equation 2 into equation 3, you know that the weight times the sine of theta over the cosine of theta times the sine of theta plus f of b minus the weight times the cosine of theta is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 4. Now we got four equations. We plug in equation 1 into equation 4 and we get W times the sine of theta over the cosine of theta times the sine of theta plus the weight times the length over 4R minus W cosine of theta is equal to 0. Now, you can divide by the weight because as you can see, the weight is in all the terms of this equation and you can basically eliminate it. And you will get sine squared theta over cosine of theta minus the cosine of theta plus L, oops, that's an L, over 4R is equal to zero. Now, this can be replaced by sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta, and this is some basic trigonometry, plus L over 4R cosine of 
theta. What we're doing here is basically multiplying everything by cosine of theta. Or multiplying this whole equation times cosine of theta. And we get sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta plus L over 4R cosine of theta is equal to zero. So this can be replaced, this term can be replaced in trigonometry by 1 minus 2 cosine square of theta plus the rest of the equation which is L over 4R cosine of theta is equal to zero. So we keep solving for this equation and basically what we're gonna we're gonna write it on the um on the order of the exponents we're just like rewriting the order we're not doing nothing interesting 2 cosine squared theta minus l over 4r cosine of theta minus 1 is equal to 0 so we got the square the 1 and the 0 on this term now with this let me go here to the side. We can write the minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, our loved quadratic formula. We know that x, this right here, is equal to cosine of theta. a is equal to 2, right here b is equal to minus l over 4r and c is equal to negative 1. Okay, so let me stay right here for 3, 2, 1. I'm going to go to the next page. I'm going to go to the next page on my notes too. So, cosine of theta, which is x, is equal to l over I'm basically replacing all the values in the quadratic formula plus L over 4R square minus 4 times 2 times negative 1 all over 2 times 2. Now it's all about simplifying L over 4R plus L square over 16r squared plus 8 all over 4 l over 4r plus this is some um, l squared plus 128r squared all over 16r squared hopefully you see what I'm doing I'm trying to take some components out of this square root all over 4 let me go here L over 4R plus square root of L square plus 128R square now this is outside of the I basically took this out of the square root and all over 4 so this is equal to, let me write cosine of theta, is equal to L plus L squared plus 128R squared. This is all basic math, guys. I mean, not basic math, it's engineering. Basic engineering math, let's call it that. It's algebra. Uh, over 16R. And now we solve for theta. We have cosine inverse of this mass L plus L square plus 128 R square 16 R and this is the mass of a final answer it also took me a while to do this problem but even if it takes me a while and this is the point of this problem is to really 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 make you think and in my opinion it's to make you think and fail for a while and fail and fail until you finally get it but this is how you do it and hopefully you don't have a teacher that gives you this problem in a test because it's very very confusing you have to memorize it to get it right but anyways thanks guys for watching this is my last problem of the day and final answer